We tend to live in this very reductive world, which I think is dr driven by the, the, the media in some respects and driven by the demands of elected officials, where we look at new programs, we look at criminal justice reforms, and we do tend to ask only a very simple, basic, reductive question, which is, did this work or not? Did this reduce crime or not? But I think there's a host of other things that we'd like to see the criminal justice system do. We'd like to see it be cost effective, for example. We'd like to see it be efficient. We'd like to see it be fair. We'd like to see it treat defendants and victims uh, with humanity and decency. And I, I think that in general, um, we need to move beyond this kind of pass-fail approach to evaluating criminal justice reform and ask these broader sets of questions if we're really going to develop a kind of nuanced understanding of, of the field. And, and in particular, I think it's really important to kind of look at criminal justice experiments and break down how they treat different populations. Sometimes an intervention, it looks like it's had no effect, but if you take a microscope to it, it's actually had an enormous effect for, say, high-risk population and a very poor effect with, with a low-risk population. And so we're only going to find those kinds of things out if we broaden the lens and ask questions beyond simply, did this reduce crime or not?